What's happening, dogs? Mr. Allen here. We're about to do some application of some rational functions. We got Dre and Snoop. They are starting a side hustle. All right, they're selling fresh garden salsa door to door. Now it takes Dre 30 minutes to make his salsa, and it takes Snoop 40 minutes to make his salsa. If they team up, how long is it going to take them to make that salsa together? All right, so we're going to set up some kind of an equation here. It's a little weird, but we're going to set one up. We're going to solve it. And we're going to figure out how much or how long, rather, it's going to take them to make one jar of salsa together, right? They're going to team up. It's going to be a dream team. All right, so we've got Dre plus Snoop, right, equals one jar of salsa. Now, for Dre, it takes 30 minutes per jar, right? So I'm going to go with X divided by 30. And then for Snoop, we got 40 minutes for his, right? So X divided by 40 equals one. So we want to see how long is it, is it going to take for them to make one jar of salsa here, all right? Now, how am I going to solve this equation here? Hmm. Well, perhaps I can get some common denominators here. All right. So 30 and 40 are my two denominators. Least common denominator of that is going to be 120. So I got to multiply this guy by 4 over 4, this one by 3 over 3. And then for my 1, that's really like 1 over 1. So I'm going to multiply by 120 over 120. Beautiful, fantastic. All right, so now I got 4x over 120 plus 3x over 120 equals 120 over 120. That's a whole lot of 120s there. All right, my denominators are the same, yes? So I can actually just take my numerators and set them equal to each other. So I got 4x plus 3x equals that 120. So now I have 7x equals 120. Now, how am I going to solve that? I'm just going to divide by 7 on both sides. I'm going to get x equals, I don't think this one's going to divide easy. Let me get the calculator. All right. So we got 120 divided by 7 is going to give me 17.14 minutes. All right. There we go. Boom. So if they team up, 17.14 minutes per jar, they're going to be, they're going to be crushing the salsa game. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's get one more problem. One more problem here. All righty. We got m and &M and 50 cent. They're mowing lawns on the side. Together, they can mow a lawn in 20 minutes. Now, it takes Eminem 30 minutes to mow a lawn by himself. How long would it take 50 cent to mow a lawn on his own? Ooh, we got a different question here, man. We got a different question. We're trying to figure out some information about 50 cent doing it on his own. We already know how long it's going to take for them to do it together, but we can set this up in a similar way, right? So if we look at our old equation here, now we know how long it takes them to do these things, right? So we got, let's see here, we got uh, 20 minutes when they do it together, right? Now when we solve for x in this one, that was our numerator. So right now we know the 20 up in the numerator and the 20 up in the numerator for this one because that's how long it takes for them to do it together. And they're going to see how long it takes to complete that full job, which is why we have it equal to 1. It's the full job. All right. Now, Eminem takes 30 minutes to mow the lawn. So that's his right right there, right? 30 minutes to complete the job. All right. But we don't know how long it takes for 50 cent to mow that lawn. So we can represent that with our variable, our unknown x. And we'll solve for that one. All right. So now I have myself a rational equation, a true rational equation. The other one, eh, it kind of is by definition. But this one, we got that x in the denominator. Definitely looking more like a rational. Okay. So what's our common denominator? I got 30 in one of my denominators, I got x in the other. So 30x is my common denominator. I gotta get that throughout. So I'm gonna multiply this one by x over x, this one by 30 over 30, and this one by 30x over 30x. Oops, not three, 30, there we go. Remember, this is like one divided by one, so you can represent that as a fraction if that makes you feel better, okay? So now I have 20x over 30x plus. We got 20 times 30. That is 600 over 30x equals, and then we have 30x over 30x. Beautiful. Fantastic. Do I have all common denominators? Yes, I do. So now I can just work with my numerators. I've got 20x plus 600 equals 30 X. Now I'm going to subtract that 20x over, so I'm going to have 600 equals 10x. And then lastly, I'll go ahead and divide by 10. No calc needed on this bad boy right here. Boom, that's gone. We got x equals 60. So what does this mean in the context of our problem? This means it's, means it's going to take 60 minutes for 50 cent, right, for 50 cent to mow a lawn on his own. All right? So they can mow it together in 20 minutes. M&M takes 30 
you know, 50 Cent, apparently he's taking his time, 60 minutes to finish it, but together they can do it in 20 minutes. There we go. We figured out the rate at which it takes 50 Cent to mow his own lawn or mow a lawn on his own. They're doing a company, right? Not just mowing his own lawn. He's mowing other people's lawns, making that cash. All right, there we go, dogs. I hope you enjoyed it. That was dope. That was awesome. See you dogs later.